Hey guys, Nick here and welcome to my spoiler free review of the new film Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, this is a movie that any logical person has been looking forward to ever since they, Disney bought Lucasfilm and announced the new movies that, that were coming out. And this has been something that when it was first announced, I, I was excited for. Um, when I was younger, of course, I was a huge Star Wars fan. I even like the prequels. Not so much now, but back when I was a kid, I used to love watching Star Wars. Lightsaber fights and everything about Star Wars I used to love as a kid. So when they announced new Star Wars movies, I was I was I was excited. I wasn't pumped because like at that point I wasn't like really into Star Wars again. But when casting came out, okay, well first of all when they first announced J.J. Abrams as the director of Star Wars: The Force Awakens, I was beyond excited because you know people have problems with his Star Trek movies, but I loved both of the Star Trek movies so much. Star Trek and Star Trek in the Darkness were both really, really great and fun films because they felt like, they felt more Star Wars than Star Trek and people have problems with that. I don't care. They were enjoyable movies that made me a Star Trek fan and I'm even excited for the new one but getting back to Star Wars itself, this movie was something that the closer I got to the movie, the more excited I got. When they first had that first trailer last year, it was just a teaser that showed Finn, Ray, and Poe. Um, not a whole lot of action and interest. Basically just an announcement of all the new characters and that got... My, my my anticipation went up a little bit. And then, Star Wars Celebration, they dropped the brand new trailer that showcased all the, like a bunch of new footage. And I was like, oh my god, this is like one of the be At that point, I was like, this is the best trailer of the year. And then, a couple months ago, they released that last trailer, that big, the, the trailer. I was stoked. I was beyond stoked for this movie. It became my most anticipated movie of the year. Um, you know, after seeing all the other big movies. And... As a fan, I bought. I, I became obsessed. I mean, if you can see all these pops back here, I bought like, pretty much every single major character in the Force Awakens as a pop figure. So to actually, so anyways, to go back to the movie itself, um, without spoiling anything, this movie was amazing. Star Wars is back. It was such a great movie going experience because I I went the first showing at my at the theater closest to my house, and you could feel it in the atmosphere. This was a, an event. And everyone was excited for it. There was lines around the theater. It was and the theater was packed. I mean, luckily I got in early, so I didn't have to worry about seating. So I was, I found good seats right away. And again, this movie was such a great experience. It's it such a great experience. Um, seeing all the old characters again, just feel like this nostalgia hitting me, and the cheering from the audience when all these old characters showed up. And this movie was it was emotional. It was a great hero's journey, uh, setting up this new. Story trilogy this this new ex expansion of the star wars universe again star wars is back in full throttle this was an amazing movie from start to finish um daisley ridley killed it as ray daisley ridley was my favorite character in the movie she brought such heart to that character that you know it's kind of funny because this is the her first like real be really big movie it's and it's my first exposure to her and she knocked it out of the park she was she delivered such a great performance and again giving us a character who's strong-willed who it, c can save her own ass and it's overall it's just there's so much to her that's interesting and enjoyable to watch um she doesn't take shit from anyone which is cool because she's almost like that like Leia in that aspect and it's again just she was everything i could have asked for and for this being her for, for this being her first big movie she was amazing in it and also, John Boyega, again, a character who I'd never seen anything else before. I haven't seen his stuff in Attack the Block or anything, but he delivered such a great performance as well. He, he gave us such a charismatic and human character that he was honestly the, probably the most relatable to any of the characters in the movie. And he starts out, you know, as a stormtrooper. Like, this isn't spoiling anything, but when he starts out as a stormtrooper, I mean, we, you've seen it all in the trailers, and he doesn't know what he's fighting for anymore. And it's the, the growth of the character that we see from the character, and he's making his own mistakes, his own flaws. And at first, like the, the marketing makes it seem like he's gonna be the hero of the story. He's really not. It's more of Ray's story. But even then, it's more of his and Ray's stories together. Because like the, you know, when everything becomes tied together and everyone's like new destinies are formed, and it's just seeing him on screen. And he looked badass as a stormtrooper, first of all. But he also brings like, much like Daisy Ridley did. John Boyega brings such heart and compassion to this character, and to make us feel sorry for and sympathize with a guy who used to be a stormtrooper, a guy who used to be a murderer. I mean, I mean, knowing the stormtroopers and how they were, and 
how they're still they still are and I just love John Boyega. I mean, he was my favorite character in the movie. Oh, he's a, he's a, definitely every, a lot of people's favorite characters. Understandable. You know, so much like about him, but to me, Ray just took it. Like Ray was my favorite character in the movie. And my second favorite character, I gotta say, Kylo Ren is awesome. Um, and to answer a lot of people's questions, he is not the new Darth Vader in any way whatsoever. He's not, you know, the very quiet, stern, badass that Darth Vader was. Yes, there's aspects of him that want to be like Darth Vader, but he brings his own sense of a character to himself. I mean, yes, I mean, it's pretty clear from the trailers. He's trying to live up to the, to the Darth Vader legacy, and he's just trying to do his master's bidding, his Supreme Leader Snoke, and seeing how he is trying to basically forget his past and move on with, with the First Order and with the dark side, and he's, and he's a character who lets... He's not as in, in control of his, his emotions as Darth Vader was. Because Darth Vader was a very stern, you know, he completely forgot about that side of, uh, the Anakin Skywalker side of him, and he was just Darth Vader. Kylo Ren, you can see that, that he's still a little torn. Um, again, it's not spoiling anything, but it's just, there there is more to the character than meets the eye. Again, he's not like a Darth Vader. Yes, he's, aspects of him are still trying to be Darth Vader. But he's a character all on his own that I found really, really enjoyable. And, Another character that I thought was really great but wasn't utilized well, or not, 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 not utilized well, but wasn't, wasn't utilized enough, Poe Dameron, who's played by Oscar Isaac. He was really, really cool and fun character. He was almost like the new Han Solo of this universe, and or of, 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 this, of these new movies. And watching him, like, because I've seen Oscar Isaac in a few things, and yes, I like him as an actor and everything. I didn't know anything really wrong with him. But I was like, okay, I mean, I, mean, like, I, I like the guy. He's, I, I love the character so much. I wish they utilized him more. He's such a like happy go lucky kind of guy. He, he he's like one of the best pilots in the resistance, and like the way he's portrayed, he just he brings light into the room, you know. And he just brings an aspect to him like that. He has personality. He's great to see on screen, and seeing his dynamic with Finn and the, seeing their relationship as subtle as it is, I loved seeing that. It was such a, a nice pleasure to see, and. Getting into the original trilogy characters, Han Solo is back. Han Solo is Han Solo again. Um, Harrison Ford. It seems like it's time hasn't changed. Han Solo is still the Han Solo that we all know and love from the original trilogy. Um, Harrison Ford. You can tell he enjoyed playing Han Solo again. Um, people have their problems with his last Indiana Jones movie. I don't see. I don't see as many problems with it. Um, him being, you know, Indiana Jones again. People have their problems with it. I still think he, he brought you know Indiana Jones back. I mean, as a character, in the movie is a separate issue, but he brought that back. And he's doing the same thing with Han Solo. As old as he is, he, it still feels like the same character. I mean, it, it is the same character. But you guys know what I mean? Because Harrison Ford is so much older than he was when Return of the Jedi came out. And now just seeing Han Solo back in full form with Chewbacca again. And seeing their dynamic that still hasn't changed over the years. And when he's, you know, finding Millennium Falcon, you just feel drawn back to the, you know, A New Hope and the first Star Wars movie. And it's just, that nostalgia again hits you right in the heart, man. And everyone cheered when him and Chewbacca showed up again. And we said Chewie were home. It's just, that was one of the things that really hit me. And another character that I want to bring up is Princess Leia, or General Leia. Um, played by, you know, Carrie Fisher yet again. Um, she doesn't show up until later in the movie. Again, not, not a spoiler or anything. I mean, she's in the movie, but she's not in the whole movie. And, you know, because she's not the main character that she was in the original movies. Anyways... Carrie Fisher brought, again, these characters, these actors brought such heart back to these characters that we all know and love, and seeing them back on screen yet again, it just feels like, you know, like time hasn't changed, you know, and these people are still the same people deep down, and this movie just filled with so much emotion, so much heart, and a lot of it, a lot of the movie itself parallels A New Hope, people might have problems with that, I don't, the movie was a beautiful story from start to finish, you know, the First Order... It feels a little too much like the Empire, and I still feel like the Empire itself was a more menacing entity, but the First Order is, you know, it's not dead yet. So, um, again, this movie, again, from start to finish, it was amazing. You guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of fan theories that were right, a lot of fan theories that were dead wrong. Um, a lot of surprise, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of love coming in, coming in, a lot of nostalgia coming in. So, Star Wars The Force Awakens, go out and watch it. As soon as you can, if there are any tickets left over, um, it was an amazing experience. I'm going to see probably a few more times at least. But, again, this was an amazing movie from start to finish. 
You guys are definitely going to enjoy it if you're a Star Wars fan. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you're probably going to enjoy it. You don't need to watch the original movies to watch these. You should because, you know, it's Star Wars. But, again, this was a, an amazing movie. I can't say that enough. So that's going to be it for me, guys, until I do my spoiler review tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow. But that's going to be it for me, guys. So until next time. And unless you guys watch my other videos. Uh, so, again, again, that'll be it for me. So have a good one. May the Force be with you.